We are live. <laughs> okay, now, can you hear me now, everybody? Leo, Leo Potts, you were supposed to be on this with, with Kevin. He hears me now. Kevin, Lawali, Marilyn, do you guys hear her? Can you hear her now? It, 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 there's a time delay. They'll, they'll, they should hear me now. That was my mistake. At I last. am so very sorry. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. yes there we yes, go. Yes, yes. That was We're my... <laughs> I really, I really uh, made a big mistake on that one. Okay. Can every can you see the screen sharing? Yes, everybody's seeing the screen sharing and hearing you, so you can back up and go. <laughs> okay, okay. Special guest speaker meetings. We are talking about the benefits, the good. This, this is the good part of the title: the good, the bad, and the ugly. We, I take the lead is a leads group organization, but we provide a lot of added benefits. Part of it is special guest speaker meetings. And um, these are speakers. They're all members of I Take the Lead. They're generally coaches. They're experts in their field. They talk on a variety of subjects such as social media, marketing, <laughs> business, um, personal development, business development, networking, how to be a better networker. For instance, we have um, Agnes First, who did the last webinar. She's a, an expert in social media. And her niche is really LinkedIn. She, she's just she's fabulous and she goes around to the different groups in the seattle area and speaks on that and the whole purpose is to invite guests but the members benefit because they get this information and a lot of times it's information that they would have to pay for and um so, so that that's part of your benefit package we haven't really done much with it yet in arizona but we will be getting We'll, we'll be doing that and we're starting to do that in Denver again and in Seattle we have several special guest speakers if you go out on meetup and you see a speaker um, who is talking let's say you have a, a an hour that to kill on Wednesday at noon and you see a speaker and you you're, you're a realtor and you know that there's a realtor in that group that's okay you can you can go we suspend the rule that there's one person per per profession because all of our speakers are members of I Take the Lead and they may not be able to come speak to your group. They may have their own I Take the Lead meeting at that time. Another benefit is the, I'm gonna, the we, we put out periodic free webinars and teleseminars. Now this is in addition to what I Take the Lead does. Um, Ronnie Noyce sometimes puts out webinars. She, she'll, she'll do a webinar or a teleseminar, and then she gives me permission to post it out on all the meetups, and it goes out on all the meetups. Um, we have Brain Coach Brad, who's getting ready to do a series of, of webinars, so look for that. When he gets them set up, he's going to let me know. They're going to come out on on all the meetups and that's in Denver in Arizona in Seattle and also in Portland and these will not be during meeting times um, so you'll have an opportunity to get on the webinars brain coach Brad is um, it, it, that's exactly what he is he's a brain coach and he works with people you could be 70 years old and think that you're set in your ways and he will work with you um, to help you to help you um, so that you're not set in your ways. He, he, he's amazing. Um, so that's also part of, of the um, benefits of being a, a member of I Take the Lead. Then back in October, I Take the Lead started our own networking webinars. These are always about networking. It's to help our members get better at networking, but we decided to make it public. Now we, um, we have probably over 800 people on the list and we get people on these webinars in um all, all across the the universe actually we, we've had people in canada we've had people in japan it's amazing how many people that we get on these webinars the next one is going to be may 12th with ronnie noise 
and Ronnie Noyes is a marketing coach here in the Portland area, and she's going to be teaching you how she built her business to full in 42 days to the day. Six weeks exactly, she went from zero clients to 29 clients, which was full for her as a marketing coach. She has a very specific system she teaches. She will, she will teach you her methods. She will give you all the tools that you need so that you can go out and do the same thing. It, it may be that you only need five more clients, um, but she did it all through networking and, and she'll be teaching you that. It's always, it's always two o'clock Pacific time on, on um, Tuesdays when we have these networking webinars and it's three o'clock uh, mountain time for Denver time. We also provide free or almost free workshops um, here in the Portland area. And, and if, if you're traveling from up from Arizona or out from Denver or down from Seattle, you're always welcome to go to these. Um, Patty Kidding puts on a, week, on a monthly workshop here in the Denver or in the Portland area. We also have um, Ronnie Noyes who does networking for newbies. And again, those are open to all I Take the Lead members. Um, the, you can go the first time for free. And I'm always, when I'm in the Seattle area, I'm always recommended that the members carpool and come down to Vancouver and, and catch one of her Networking for Newbies seminars. It's free the first time for I Take the Lead members and then almost free, it's like $5 the rest of the times you go. And it's well worth it. What do you say, Kevin? You've been to it. Yeah, Ronnie has a really good ability to teach you your elevator speech. And, you know, if you don't know how to get somebody's attention with, you know, when they ask you what you do, you say, oh, I'm an accountant. Well, okay, yeah, I know what an accountant does, and they walk away. Versus, you know, hey, I'm a bean counter. Well, what's a bean counter? That's what she does. <laughs> she teaches you a unique way of making people know and ask that next question. What does that mean? What do you do? And, you know, she's very skillful at doing that. Yeah, she is. She is. She, is. she, is. she is. and she and she's entertaining and, and really humorous too. So she's a lot of fun. Lead with heart. I imagine most of you have heard about lead with heart by now. And we've been doing this for 14 years. We started a program where we do food baskets for families in need at Valentine's Day time, and then um, we kind of changed the way we do it. Oh, I don't know, Kevin. What about three or four years ago? Yeah, where the groups all get to they they start collecting money. Kevin, you started your groups what in October? Yeah, pretty <laughs> yeah. much. Um, they start collecting money, and then the membership coordinators and I divvy up the money. Um, the members recommend families that they know personally, and we'll take here in Portland. We'll take up to to thirty families actually. Um, this year, I think we had about 20 families, 20, 22 families, if, if I recall, I can't remember. Um, but we divvy up the, the money, and then the member who recommends the family that they know has fallen into hard times, they go out and, and purchase food or um, items like, like maybe the family already gets is on a food stamp program. I don't remember what the name of it is right now, but um, getting some kind of help from the government for food. But that doesn't pay for, I don't believe it pays for diapers or it doesn't pay for laundry detergent, toilet paper. God forbid anybody need that, so, that sort of thing. Or, or even like, um, as you can see in this picture, they have um, downy fabric softener, they dove soap, you know, shampoo, things like that. And the whole purpose is to, to help people um, who, are, who have fallen into hard times recently. Uh, I've, I've heard different stories. It might be due to um, illness in the family. I, I know one year we had um, the breadwinner was in the family dying when, when our, the member brought, brought all the items to, to the family at the hospital. Um, you know, it's just heartbreaking some of the stories we hear. But the whole idea is to help out. You know, we're so fortunate. We want to give back. And that, that's part of what we do. 
and um, sometimes the families don't need any of that, but maybe they're getting ready to have their heat turned off, and so the member will go ahead and, and make sure they get their heat turned back up back on with the funds so it's again it's all about working together as as a team as a community and having fun at the same time and becky so, yes um this year we raised two hundred dollars per family here in portland and the reason why we started early was if you start in october and you just say hey put a buck in a week if you put a buck in a week all the way up to february 14th that's twenty dollars per person and that means that we're going to get two hundred dollars per family, you know, by doing that. You know, right, it's not a right. lot to put a buck in a week. So, right, it, yeah, exactly, and it it doesn't it doesn't harm anybody. Yeah, I I agree, and, and you're really good at that, Kevin. I I appreciate that. Um, we also know we started the food program, but then oh, it was actually eight years ago. Um, I think this month we decided, why don't we? You know, we're already doing this, and so we did we did some other things. We did some um, other types of fundraisers, but we decided why don't we create a nonprofit, a five hundred one c three, and that way we can bring all of our members together to really do big fundraisers. And eight years ago, one of the, our members here in the Portland area, Steve Lysak, owns a golf course, and he said, "Well, why don't we do a a, a golf tournament and I said, okay, well, we can do a fundraiser with it. And Steve Lysak really um, was instrumental in helping us get this all set up. So here in Portland, we have the system. We'll be doing our eighth annual golf tournament on August 14th. The committee is going to, we've got a committee, a really active working committee, and they're going to be choosing the recipients this year on May 7th. Um, but we, this is something we've done fundraisers in Denver before. Um, th this is something that we can do in other areas as well. And I know in, um, in Arizona, for instance, they're passing the envelope right now to just be able to give funds to, to a local nonprofit of their choice. So, so there's all different ways we, we can, um, do this, but remember, we like to have fun. So this was, a couple of our fun rate of our um, golf tournaments. Kevin, I don't know if you're in any of the pictures. Well, Kevin was a chip and chick last year, but I don't think I have that picture. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, so I'm just showing this is what we do at our fundraisers. We love to have fun. We also provide um, free mixers. Those are big here in the Portland area, but we have them everywhere. Um, and and they're all a little bit unique. We have, well, Kevin's group, one of his groups is hosting a mixer on May 28th in the Lake Oswego area. But again, it's about people getting to know each other. We, um, sometimes they're held at one of our members' offices. They want to showcase their office. Sometimes they're held in a restaurant. Sometimes alcohol is involved, sometimes not. It, they're all a little bit different. Sometimes they play, um, um, networking games also speed networking I know Arizona Mesa the, the Mesa group started doing speed networking they just had their second speed networking last week where they had several people come um, and if you haven't been involved in speed networking it's a lot of fun it's where you are across the table from one person at a time. You each get, depending on how many people are there and depending on who's running it, but you each get two minutes each to talk or three minutes each to talk. And then the buzzer goes off, you switch who's talking. But it, it's, um, it, you really get to know a lot of people and it's really comfortable. 14 to 16 people is the ideal number. You get more than that, it, it's, it, it can be overwhelming. Uh, but this is um, Gig Harbor. We had a speed networking in several of our um, members, but also it, it, we, we get it out on Meetup. Our members invite guests. So it's a great way to meet a lot of new people as well. I know Denver had a speed networking last week. They had 14 people there and I was looking at the list only about I think three or four people were members. The rest were all guests. So what a great opportunity for those members to meet a whole bunch of new people that they wouldn't maybe normally meet and get to network with. And a lot of times people walk away with, with leads from those. Another benefit 
with I Take the Lead. Never pay membership fees again. I can't stress that enough. You invite guests. Invite guests. Um, when I, I know here in Portland, I, I keep a running list of the four key um, financial positions that are that have openings, the, all the groups that have those openings. So if I'm a realtor, I'm going to find realtors for those spots. That means for every realtor I get to join a group, I don't have to... I, I don't have to pay a whole month of membership fees to I take the lead. And so I, I, I'm surprised that all our members don't work at that, to, to never have to pay membership fees again. If we have an opening for a realtor in, um, in Denver and I'm a realtor in Seattle and I have a list of the, the John L. Scott realtors in Denver, I might start emailing them and saying, hey, would you be interested in a, in a group in, um, in the Denver area? And here's the information. And then you end up getting a free month for, for doing that. In addition to that, we have what we call the once a month travel club. And you could get um, free dues every month for a year. You could get a, a free vacation anywhere where Worldmark goes and now where RCI goes and it's that's around the world at a at a resort and um, if by by inviting 12 people who end up joining within a year you get all that you get 12 12 free months of I take the lead we have um, Cindy Carver who joined just about a year ago she's a realtor in the Renton area she joined just about a year ago and she's already we, we booked her first trip to maui um in august she's going there she, she just booked her airfare so she's going and then she's already working she's got a couple new members for her second trip and i don't know where that will be <laughs> so when she when she when she invites people she invites a lot of people to get 12 new members with it within that year. But, um, but she just keeps inviting people everywhere she goes. She invites people. This is just an example. This is uh, we were down at Depot Bay. And so this is just an example of what one of the um, suites looks like. It's, this is actually a two bedroom. I didn't show the two bedrooms, but you can see there's a kitchen, there's a laundry facility, there's a living room, um, you know, a, a, ki a kitchen area and, um, you know, bedroom. And this, this particular unit has um, two bathrooms as well. So everybody is, um, is it's open to everybody who's who's um, a member of I Take the Lead. Okay, so now I've, I've covered all the, the good news, which is the benefits that you have with I Take the Lead, but now I'm going to tell you the bad news. And the bad news is that no one ever has to give you a lead. I see people join, they, they pay their, their monthly fees or their monthly fees come out automatically. And they either stop showing up, they don't bother showing up to the weekly meetings, or they show up late, leave early, they don't bother networking, um, and they don't take it seriously. Because it's only, you know, for B2C, it's only $25 a month, and unfortunately, most people don't take it seriously. <clears throat> So, so what we like to teach is, um, is how to turn that around, how to be successful. And first of all, you got to show up. There's just no if, ands, or buts about that. If you're not at your meetings regularly, people aren't going to take you seriously. And I, I will never refer to somebody who's not there regularly. You, you've got to be referable. And that means you've got to be friendly, warm, approachable. Wear a smile on your face. <laughs> I, you know, laugh. Somebody makes a joke, laugh. Hygiene. Well, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest about that. Use mouthwash. If, if you, if you walk into a meeting, you've got bad breath. People aren't going to refer you because they aren't going to want to subject that to their, to their colleagues. And I'm just being honest here. Bathe. You know, look. Always look presentable. If you're a plumber, you're not going to be wearing a suit. Um, but it, so, but a plumber can still look look presentable and look like somebody um, that you want to send to your to your um, client's house to to do their plumbing. 
Look for ways to help others. There's always ways to help others. I got to tell you, Kevin McWhorter, who's on this, he, he's a membership coordinator with I Take the Lead. So that means as a, as a membership coordinator, he, he oversees at least three groups um, on the west side of, of Portland. And he's always looking for ways to help others. He's just, I, I always tell people, you know, if I had a, a, an opportunity to join one of Kevin's groups, I would, because he loves to see people um, be successful. Patty, Patty Kidding, who's a coach, jokes with him. Well, she doesn't really joke. She knows that he's, he's naturally a coach and he loves to coach people. And because of that, he gets a ton of leads. He really does. Uh, some lenders, I've seen lenders, be uh i've seen mortgage lenders join for a year and not get one lead and it's because they're doing everything wrong and and not doing the things that are, are necessary to to be right but i've seen kevin get leads from groups that don't even have a realtor in it. isn't that right kevin yep um and also get involved Every group has an opportunity um, for, for every single member to get involved somehow. You can step up. You can be a co-director. You, you, you know, we are looking for membership coordinators in all the areas. Um, you can you can just take one of the one of the different roles. When they ask who wants to volunteer to do such and such, get involved. Right now, we are looking for more committee members for the golf tournament. Get involved. That people look up to people who get involved, and then again, show up. That that's key to having success, to being successful with I Take the Lead. Becky, can I add something to that? Absolutely. I wish you would. Um, the, the the other thing that is really important in your groups is to get to know each other go out for coffee outside of i take the lead so that you get to know each other because people are not going to refer you business unless they know you and then keep it in perspective uh the mortgage guy the real estate guy and the financial planner one lead could be two to four thousand dollars for them the guy that does pnc insurance one lead is like a hundred bucks to them so keep it in perspective yeah the pnc guy is probably going to get a lot of leads you're chiropractors are going to get a lot of leads, but they're only making $50 per sale. If I make three leads in a quarter, I probably made $10,000. I'm ecstatic about that. You know, <laughs> you know be, be aware of that and understand that in your groups and the dynamics of that. So, you know, cause that really helps the group understand who needs a lot of leads and who needs one or two leads. So. Well, good point. That's a good point, Kevin. Also, I, I think, um, and I'm glad you brought that up. I really think it's important that everybody has realistic expectations. And Kevin, I know you've seen them. You see these people, they join and they're, you know, they've, they've been a member two weeks, you know, a month. Oh, where are my leads? I'm not getting any leads. Well, if you're in a high trust profession, it, it's possible it could take as much as a year or maybe even more for you to get your first lead. And I've seen this. I've seen members uh, wait to make sure somebody's going to be around. I've heard um, members say, you know, you get a new PNC agent who's new to the new to the profession. Kevin doesn't want to give that PNC agent to his best clients because he 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 wants to make sure that the PNC agent is is going to be in the insurance industry in another for another year, um, and. So he, he waits to, to make sure that they're going to make it. We, we, because we um, welcome newbies in their profession, it also means that they have to work harder and wait longer, usually for their first lead, be, because a lot of our members are seasoned and, and um, they, they, it's just important that you understand that. Also, the rule of thumb, it, it's important that you understand that you need to be willing to pass four to seven leads for every one you receive. And, you know, if you think it's just about joining, showing up and the leads coming your way, you, you really, you're, um, you're going to be very, very disappointed and you'll end up quitting. So look for ways to pass leads to others. If you aren't finding ways to pass leads, there are other things you can do for people. You can, um, you know, you just do things to be nice and, and look, look for ways to connect people. I love to connect people. Look for, um, 
you know, just, just, just look for things that you can do. Um, and, and Kevin, do you agree with that? I, Cause I have seen that. Yeah. I've, I've well, seen and the people... agents, you know, there's the PSEA agents, the insurance agents, securities officers, they come in, they're brand new. You guys can let them look at your stuff and give you a quote. doesn't mean you have to buy it, but then you get to know them and how they do business. And you could give them pointers, say, hey, I didn't like the way you did this. I didn't like the way you did that. If you do this and this, I'll probably start sending you more leads. So then you're helping them understand what you want them to do with your clients. And then they'll start to conform to the way you want them to treat your clients. And that's the best thing you can do to help newbies in the business, is what we call them. Right, 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 right. Yeah, and, and, and great points. And that's where it goes back to, like, what you said, Kevin, get together with each each person, each member of your group, and continue to get together with them one-on-one -on -one and have those one-on-ones with them. And that way, um, you know, be, before you know it, you, you become kind of like a family. I've, I've seen that happen. I just, you know, and here comes the ugly part, and I hate to say it, but you might be doing all of that. You might be passing a ton of leads. You are, you know, you, you use your mouthwash, you are, um, you're doing everything right, and you're still not getting any leads. And that's going to bring us to, to part two, which will be a different time. It's because you're not teaching everybody how to refer you. Um, and, and so as I shared, this is going to be ongoing. I hope all of you listened to the last webinar with Sean Harry. If you didn't email me, it's just Becky at I take the lead.com. I'm sure you all have my email by now. Email me and I can send you a replay because what Sean did was he taught everybody how to get really, really clear on who their ideal client is. If you're not very clear on that, if you're, then it's really hard for you to teach us how to refer to you. The next, um, the next orientation, what we're going to be doing is, is going through the lead generation sheet that everybody gets in the new member packet and going in detail how to most effectively use that because you'll be using that when it's your turn to speak, when, when it's your turn to do your 10 minute presentation. Also, I don't know if it'll be if we'll have enough time for that one or it'll be the the training after that, but Kevin's gonna be teaching Kevin doesn't know this. Kevin's oh. gonna be teaching you how to set up how to create your 10 minute presentation. Um because Kevin had, had mentioned that. Right, Kevin? Did you mention you wanted to do that? Sure. <laughs> if you volunteer with Becky, just understand you're volunteering for more than one thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did mention that, that you wanted to do that sometime. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so, so this is all, it, 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 it's, a, it's a process. It's not an overnight, um, it's not, networking is not an overnight success. It's all about um, learning how to be better at it, continuing, tweaking what you do, and then of course the member orientations are just going to be a process. We will be doing this again. Um, you will get the replay. But go back to your groups. Tell them to watch for the next, I take the lead announcements, um, watch for the next next training. I don't. We haven't got it set up yet. And on the next training, do bring your lead generation sheet. Remember to go to your new member packet, look for it. Uh, let's see, I'm going to see if I can clear out of here. And I'm just going to see if, if, if anybody's still here. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask any questions that you might have. Uh, again, you'll get the replay. And I think that is it. Oh, it, we, we got everybody's. I could hear, I could see. <laughs> Sorry about the beginning part. But Kevin, I want to thank you for being on here with me. I really, really appreciate Bet. it. And we'll set up the next one. And I want to thank everybody. You will get the replays later on today. So we'll close out for now. And happy networking. Bye-bye, everybody.